So yeah, here we have my cascading Chinese elm. We're going to repot it and trim it up today. Um, I want it into a more appropriate pot. I think this would be a good size pot for what I'm looking for. Um, problems with this tree, let me put this aside. Um, problems with this tree are, I lost this whole, a lot of the cascade that I had already developed. If you remember the last time you seen it, I had a lot more of a cascade. Um, I had bug problems and I think that's what hit this. It was either bug problems or a fertilizing problem I was having because um, I was, uh, um, I may have over fertilized some of my indoor trees with some fertilizer I was new at. Um, so it was either that or the other thing. I do know that once I got rid of the bugs and I took this and I just like drenched it with water in case it was the fertilizer, I just rinsed all the, as much as out of the soil as I could to help it out, it started bouncing back. This only just came on maybe less than a month ago, this little thing. I was worried that I wouldn't get this um, because what's left here is really no good to me right now. Um, I'm going to still keep it for now. I'm going to chop it all back. Um, but the way it comes out and it goes almost 90 does not work. Um, it, it didn't look bad with more stuff out here, but it doesn't look like anything's going to grow. This looks like it shriveled up the stuff I left here, whereas this just burst out. So hopefully I can get some maybe something a little further back or we can just develop this. This I'm not going to pull down, I don't think yet. Um, I think it's a little too, um, it's a little too thin to really pull back down and I'm worried that I'll, uh, I'll injure it. I'll destroy it by pulling it down. So, um, that's what we're going to do. We are going to trim it and then maybe put some wire on it. I know I need to put some wire on this. This needs to come back down some more, I think. Um, um, I'm not going to worry about, if I put any wire, I'm not going to worry about adjusting the wire until we go to pot it. Um, because a lot of times you adjust stuff and then the wire gets bumped when you're trying to repot. So I don't usually, I'll put the wire on beforehand just because it would be easier on the, um, the root system in the new pot. But um, other than that, I won't. And I'm still thinking of this as the front where we have this little thing. Um, but, so, um, let me get some trimming tools and we'll work on this. First, I'll just, well, I'll leave that on for right now. Um, first, I'm just going to start by clipping this quite a ways back. Um, because I would like this to be dominant out here than this. Um, and just like the top is really dominant right now. Um, this is what we need to develop the most, so uh, everything else is going to be clipped back or clipped off. Look at that. I'm going to decide to clip that off. Because if we're keeping it, some of these branches aren't... So anyways, and I, I was thinking about maybe bending this. Um, I may be able to bend it. I'm, I'm looking at it. It may be... I don't think so, though. Um, if I do try to save it and bend it, um, it'll be another time and I will probably just try wrapping, I'll cut this off and try wrapping some raffia on it and that may be able to bend it enough to make it look better. Because um, I don't mind a little bit of a, a tighter bend on it, but this is like pretty much 90 and it's not going to look good. So we're going to chop, what I will do for now is I will chop that, clean that up and chop it back because that is, yeah, I don't think that's alive. It's not very green. In there it's a little bit of green left but that just suggests to me that it's just and it's just still alive at the end because it has shriveled up quite a bit so i don't think it's alive in here again we're gonna leave this but there's a second one growing on here and i don't need two growing out of there um so we will take one off um because i think that is a viable branch i'm actually gonna just take this off because there's two branches on both sides and that's just kind of moving up. I'd have to work on it to get it. And we are pretty much treating this like we're going to keep it. Um, I'm just most likely not going to keep it, so I'm going to cut it, 
cut it back a bit to help slow its growth down and put more vigor into that. Now we have the top, which has grown really nicely. Um, uh, we have, let's see, we have, we have this growing up. I'm gonna clean this off. Clean that off there. We're gonna clean a little, a little thing there off. And a little leave off there too. And we're gonna probably, here, I'll just pull this one off. We'll leave that there. Now, we have, they're not, they're not exactly bar branches, but they're all fairly close together. And I don't think I need all that many branches here. So we're gonna take the inside facing branch off. When you got small branches and you're trying to use scissors or anything, you sometimes have to put support on the back end or, or you won't get a uh, proper cut. And then we will just bring these back. Um, I'm gonna bring this back to this, this leave here because it's forward facing. And like I said, this is one I usually leave a little bit of a stub when I'm cutting like this. If it were cutting a branch off another branch or cutting a branch off the trunk, I would just cut them, uh, cut them flush. But when it comes to small little brent things like this and I'm cutting the end off, I will let the stub until the next time and I'll clean it up later because that will give this a chance to butt out and I'm not damaging anything there. It's the only reason I do it. Um, this one I will take back to this outward facing leaf here. Like so. We'll come around back to what I'm... This is most likely going to be the new lead, the leader of this thing. It's the most prominent thing. Um, as you can see, it comes, it, it continues the line pretty good. Um, which side I'm gonna use is the question. This has to go because it's just, it's just facing in with the other branch and it's not working. Um, I'm trying to decide. I like this one better just because it, it's, it's got a movement and it's, We've got the movement here and then here, and it comes back a little bit this way and goes this way. So what I'm gonna do, this will end up being cut back to where a leaf fell off, but we should have a viable, um, viable, which one? I'm cut it up there. It's probably a little still a little higher than I want, but we can cut it back later. Um, as it develops new stuff, we can decide what we wanna do. Um, I think I'm going to keep this for now, but I'm going to cut this way back and we're going to cut it back to this brand, this one uh, coming out this side and not up the middle. Here, I think I'm going to keep both these. Um, I don't see any reason not to keep both of these. Um, but here is just the decision of what to keep um, because of the way it is. Um, Okay, we have something developing here. So hopefully it will continue growing up and it'll it'll grow up more straight because everything's pretty much going up straight. So hopefully this will come up straight enough that these don't conflict. If they conflict, we'll just have to, um, if these conflict later down the line, we'll just have to decide on getting rid of one of them. Okay, and then we have this one, which, I would like to cut this one lower if I can. Um, it's not always possible, but it should be. Yeah, I can just cut it back to this branch that's facing out, like so. And that is good for getting it all, um, all clipped up. Now we're gonna throw a little bit of wire on. Um, Okay, how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna wrap this up the main branch and then the main trunk, I mean, and then also down this cascade because we don't need it. I don't need it to go 
way down the, the cascade as um, now we can actually probably get some uh, can actually probably take this main thing and move it a little bit um, and then we can um, yeah we'll probably pull this out a little bit remember I was talking about this might conflict with this um, I don't think it would be a bad idea to just move this just give this a little tweak to that side um, but seeing that's the only stuff um, either that or I could well, I'm gonna wire this up I can always take the wire off if I don't need it I'm gonna wire it up I don't need a thicker wire with that um, this should work that I already have I'll just oh yeah this will be plenty long Okay, we're going to just put another piece of wire up, up here. Okay, we'll just pull this out. Keep this because I'll probably reef. This shouldn't be. Yeah, I didn't think it would just stuck real bad on this. I think it's maybe been in there a year. I think I repotted it. Yeah, I started this as a thing last a little over a year, like last winter before it got warm. I started this as a cascade and potted it. In. So, let's see what this looks like after a year. Just oops, wrong end. I just kind of yeah. As I thought it ain't going to be. Um, it's not really root bound, but it's got plenty of roots. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I just I'm repotting it partly because I found the good thing. It looks like it's starting to get some nice surface roots too. Um, so I figured, um, knowing these, it wouldn't hurt to redo them. And I know, um, seeing this has been, I mean, if I wanted, to, I, I have no problem. I've had no problem doing these, like not before they're, when they're, uh, got leaves on the. Um, The Chinese elm. Uh, I have never had a problem. I've, I don't think I've. This one. I mean, this one would have been earlier than time if it had been. Uh, last year would have been earlier than the time it would have been if, if, if it was, you know, outdoors all the time. I gotta try to get these into a place this year. Um, I, we have a big bay window in a room we don't use. Um, I just got to get an easy way to the window. Um, there's some stuff stored in the room, so the window is not the most accessible um, right now. 
Um, so that's why it never got in there last year. Um, I was gonna put this, at, this, this and the other one in the other Chinese elm in that window to hopefully, when they went dormant, to keep them dormant um, for longer. I mean, these still went dormant uh, with, I think this one went dormant for about two months. The one with the, um, the, gra the thread grafts went about a month and a half. Um, I think, if I remember right. I know one was about a month and a half, one was two months. So they didn't go dormant because they were outside. I left them out as long as I felt comfortable leaving them out and they went dormant. And then I had them indoors and they were dormant, like I said, for a month to a month and a half indoors. So they would have probably been dormant a little longer because they did go dormant. They had sat outside dormant for a, a while. Um, Honestly, I was think I was looking back on it. I could have probably left them out longer this last winter because it was really a mild winter until we got into like I don't think we really got any good cold weather. I mean, occasional thing I could have brought them in for a night or two if I was worried about an overnight cold spell or something. But uh, really didn't have to worry about them until probably February. So I'll have to keep do it. I just, I'm really gun shy on these because I killed two that I had really nice two um, the year before. Okay, here's what we got for roots now. Um, is this, okay, that's fucked. Got a root developing above the, these here, but we got like three roots all together here. I'm trying to see what I can keep. And I do believe I'm going to keep this thicker one here. Um, in favor of, I might still keep this for now just in case something happens, but I think we got to get rid of one of these. So this bottom one is going to go. Um, it's not in a good spot anyways. Oh, and yes, this, this seems to have developed some good roots over the last year. So, um, and then you see here, there's some big roots down here, but they're too low. What I'm gonna do is we've got a good root system above this thing. So I'm gonna get under these roots and I'm just going to uh, hack that all off. That's the bottom off. And that's what we're working with now, which I think is a really good root system. Um, from here, I think I'm not even gonna worry about anything. Um, just to help this thing come back quicker. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to trim things back to a fit in the pot I got. Um, so right now we're going to cut back. We've got some finer roots here on this big root. Um, we'll cut that back there. We'll cut this back to these roots. My scissors would be easier on this. Now um, we will just trim. Like I said, I'm just trimming some stuff back. Clean that cut up better there. Um, um, actually, I think I'm going to cut this root off. I don't think I'm going to use it. There's one above it because we're going to bury this. Maybe not as low as I had it, but we're still going to bury this lower to the ground just hopefully get some more development roots. Um, and I don't think I'll remove this one in favor of this other one below it. And other than that, maybe remove this little one that's growing there. Other than that, I'm just going to clean some of the... Um, some of this stuff that will eventually just die off anyways. So from where I cut it off, we'll just cut that up. We got a little one growing under that big one we don't need. Yeah, it really don't I try not to cut up. Like I said, I gotta cut the bottom off because we ain't gonna use that so it doesn't need to be used. We still might have to cut a little bit back more for some other things, but we'll look at the test fit here. Okay, let me find where this one, we want this to sit. Let me make sure we're still, make sure I'm still here. There. 
Okay, there we go. Um, being in the smaller pot, I can, uh, on the smaller pot now, I can, uh, I could zoom you in a little closer. Um, now, let me, let me sit this sideways so I can see how I want this in. Um, but we're thinking this way. And I'm going to try to minimize, I'm going to try to lean the tree a little more into the pot. I don't think we have to worry about, because um, I, I can keep these roots to grow down. Um, uh, being a cascade, the roots are going to be a little different in the pot than your average bonsai, I find. Um, you tend to have a little more, you know, you have a bigger pot so the the, the roots will go down more than you need. I mean, you still want to try to make them as radial, but even if something like this was growing, it would probably be growing like this would be the cliff here. So these would grow down into the cliff side and hold it. So um, that'll work just fine. And then we can expose some of the tops of them later. Um, but as I said, we're going to do this a, a little lower. Now, this is the back side, but it's just easier to, for me to show you what we're doing with it. Um, Cause this root could probably be a nice feature on the top, but it's gonna have to come back a little further. Um, it is kind of long anyways. Um, so and let me, let me wet these real quick. Um, I think they, they may have been getting a little dry. Okay, we're going to cut, if you see there's roots here we were keeping, we're going to cut that off to this, this root here. And we'll take that and we'll see how this fits in the pot now. And that'll fit good now. Yeah, that'll fit quite good. Um, just got to decide how deep I want it buried. Yeah, so that should be a good spot for it to be buried. Let me just take a look at what it looks like to me. Yeah, that should do. It's a nice angle, bent over a little bit. And yeah, that should work good. Okay, so we got those wet. I got to get the pot ready. And anything else? No, we're going to fill it up. Okay, I found a little piece of the plastic mesh I use from craft stores. Um, you can also get it at Walmart, something like Walmart and their craft department usually has it. I, sometimes Walmart I find has is out of it, but you can usually always find it somewhere. It's some kind of crafting department or craft store. Um, it's just, it's just this plastic mesh they use to, I've done this before years ago when I was younger. Um, you just make designs in it. It's, it's a lot like cross stitch, but it, you use wa um, uh, yarn for it. You can make pretty neat, you can make a lot of interesting things out of it because it has some rigidity. You can actually make 3D uh, looking things out of it. So, okay, I get a scoop of soil and we will fill this up a little bit. Not much because I want to get these front roots down a bit. So actually I'm going to move where I'm going to work on this. I'm going to move. Sorry about losing the light on the end. I didn't realize the, the light went down just enough to kill my thing. I have to put, had to pull it out so I can see because the too close and it wasn't getting enough light. Um, I just have to finish this up real quick with this amount of light. Um, so, just going to kind of pull these, kind of use the pot to get these down and get those down like that. And then I mean, I don't even think we're going to use, I don't think these even use like a whole, my whole scoop, which is like a two cup scoop of stuff to fill up. So just kind of work a root down there and then just kind of pack this soil in to here.
Right, and I'm just kind of trying to hold it where I want it with my finger. And because I already did the poking in, I'm just trying to get the top layer um, a little bit uh, settled in um, to the thing. And that is very solid in there now. So that's good. I don't think we need any more in there. We just hacked a little bit of wire to wire I don't need now. I don't need this. And I don't need... Let's wrap this up more up here. Just put that off. Um, so, let me look at it real quick. Make sure it's where I want it. And now that I, you know, now that I, now that I messed with it a little bit, it's a little loose. Let's just get a little bit in there. Yeah, that's tightened up. Just need a little bit more substrate in there. And then I am going to stick this back in. I don't think I need it, but nah, I don't need it. You know what, what I want for front, so right at this moment. And this, the wire got a little funky. Oh well, it doesn't look the greatest, but it'll work. Okay, sorry if it's still a little dark. I just I lost the light. Uh, it got a little more cloudier than I thought, and it's getting later. Um, for the last end of the thing, I had to take a break because of some noise. Um, but I think the next thing I invest in for this channel, even filming outside, would be nice to have a light. Didn't we need a, anything anything too expensive? I just got to come up with a little bit of money to get a light that I could probably. Put on top of the phone, the the camera. Now that I don't use the the microphone on the camera, I, I put it off to the side here. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get that. Right. And I can probably get this video fixed some in post when I edit it. I can probably bring the light up a little bit. I don't know how much. We'll see. So if it doesn't look that bad and you wonder why I'm talking about it, it's because it was and I fixed it. But here is what we have for now. Um, I think this is going to be the front. Um, I did bend both of these branches out a little bit to give them some more room. This one more than that one, but this one I just edged a little bit to make this one more visible for the, the, the a little bit visible for the which the, the angle we're going for. Um, um, this branch will probably have to eventually even be um, wired or moved, I don't know, but we'll see what goes. Um, this is in a good position. I mean, I'm still going to have to probably be wire it more. Um, I have wired this thing probably in the last year five or six times at least. This is probably like the seventh or eighth time I've wired this down. Um, I mean, if you figure this was off this branch, this this trunk here that goes into the ground, this used to come up straight from there. So it's going to take a while to get it bent down to where we want it. Um, the tree just doesn't want to quite go there. Um, it's part of the reason. Part of the reason I wanted it angled, but also I wanted it angled a little bit because that will look more natural for the look you're going. Because most likely a cascade like this that was going to happen in nature would be over a cliff, over a hill. There would be some reason there's nothing here for it to come down. Um, so it would most likely that it also grew like that. There's a good chance that it was leaning that way already. So, so we'll work on it. Um, we'll work on it, develop it more, take care of this to get this to develop out and then I will wire that down when it's thicker and able to be wired 
down to to and I'll clean this end up a little bit more um, to get it to heal and look better. Um, I'm gonna work on that. I'll we'll hope this winter I don't have bug as much bug problems as I did this year. Um, I just had some certain trees. Just the 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 wheat the well the one ficus had trouble last year with bugs. Different bugs this year, but um, the also the um, the sky flower had a lot of troubles with bugs, and that's gotten thrown back some. Um, and they say this got hit, but the other Chinese elm did not get bothered by bugs. So, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, and I'll see you next time.